Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Squadron. I want to show you something so simple. A lot of people out there do not know about this. And when you see it, you're going to go, oh my God, why did I not think of doing this? When you have, um, say, like an icon list where you've got loads of icons, maybe for Facebook, Twitter, your YouTube, your telephone, your email or other icons, and then you want to show an icon for a navigation bar because you want to have a pop-up canvas menu. Sometimes what some people do, and I do not recommend doing this, they might have multiple columns and in one column they stick the icon list and in another column they put the navigation bar. Not a great thing to do because it's, when it, it's a pain when you start to do mobile responsive mode, right? That's how some people do it. A, mo the most common way to do it is you have the icon list and the navigation bar in the same or the that's actually an icon by the way that's an icon with um using the bars they have it in the same column but both of them when you go to advanced they have a positioning of custom so both of these have positioning custom that then means they can be side by side okay so now you've you've turned two columns into one but there is something even more simpler than this let me show you if i duplicate this okay I'm going to get rid of that bar. So we're just left with the icon list. I'm going to click this and over here we have the icon list. I am going to add in another item. I'm actually going to get rid of the text. I'm going to click over here and I am now going to pick uh, bars. There we go. We're back on our bars. It's what we kind of did with the icons, right? So now we have everything in the same area. And here's the really cool bit. This at the moment, you could link it to a page. By the way, this only really works when you have a pop-up canvas menu, right? If you're using the traditional navigation bar widget, this you have to go back to option number two with custom positioning. But if you've got a pop-up canvas menu, now I can click the dynamic tag and I can link this to a pop-up. And so now in one, in basically in one widget, in one column, We've got all of our icon lists and our navigation bar, which makes it easier to work with when you're doing tablet or mobile responsive mode. And for anyone who's still unsure, there's videos on how to do pop-ups, have a look in our list. But if you had a pop-up, you click the spanner or the wrench, and then you'll say, okay, this is now gonna go off to the um, off canvas menu. Say for instance, like that, we hit update. And if I was to preview this and you click it, the off canvas menu slides in or however I set it up. That is so simple and easy. So you can use your icon list to stick your off canvas menu, pop up icon, button, widget, whatever you want to call it in there. Easy, right? I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I shall see you very soon.